Hey, welcome to uh, Sugar Talk with Dr. KG Lucas here on the talk station at FM 107 at AM 1240. And the doctor who's in the house. Good morning, doctor. How are good you? Good morning. I'm good. What are we talking about today? It's part two today, Part right? two of plush. I know everybody's been waiting for this. <laughs> yes, we're putting it on our calendars, right? But it's not the end. It's just the middle. All right. It's the middle of the book. All right. So uh, uh, what what is it that we want to bring up today? What kind of... Well, we're going to talk about the types of cholesterol. I think we hinted at that last time. Mm -hmm. um, but these are the things that people... Uh, get measured in their blood and so we sort of want to go over it what it really means and what is it um, when you spin down your blood you put it in a centrifuge it goes round and round and it spins down if you spin down the um, fats mm -hmm. in the blood the different lipoproteins which are lipoproteins are fat and protein together that carry the cholesterol and triglycerides around the body to, to deliver them to different places in the, in the cells the lipoproteins sink at different rates so you have the high density lipoproteins, that would be high density would be heavy, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> and that would sink right. down. And then you have the intermediate density and you have the, the low density, and the low density are the ones that, that uh, float around on the surface. And that's what carries a lot of the <clears throat> cholesterol. All the lipoproteins carry cholesterol, but the LDL, which is low density lipoprotein, that's what it stands for, um, is the one that actually takes them into the arteries and deposits fat um, in the blood vessels. So the HDL or the, as you said, happy, I think last time. <laughs> yeah, the good cholesterol. The good cholesterol, the HDL, the high density lipoprotein, is the one that um, tends to take the fat out of the blood vessels and take it back to the liver for processing. So the LDL uh, particles are important. These are the lipoprotein particles, and you can actually measure those in the blood, like which Pro lipoproteins of the LDL. It's more complicated than just LDL. Mm -hmm. There's like the small dense ones and the small dense ones are the ones that sneak into the blood vessels because they're small. So they get into the blood vessels and put blobs of fat um, in your blood vessels. Mm -hmm. So the people, even if they have like a normal catheterization, you put dye into the arteries of the heart, um, they might look open but if you do an ultrasound of the same arteries, you'll see blobs of fat in the arteries. So it's a little scary. Mm. Um, that's why they don't do the ultrasounds, I guess, because <laughs> you don't see them. But um, if you have a high cholesterol and you have a high LDL, and especially if you have these small, dense uh, particles of LDL, uh, you're at high risk to have heart disease. And that's what we're talking, why we're talking about this. People with diabetes, uh, they call them a heart disease equivalent, which means if you have diabetes, you probably do have something wrong with the blood vessels in your heart. Uh, you just assume that. Mm -hmm. So that's why the move is afoot to try to get the cholesterol and all other risk factors for heart disease down in people with diabetes so that they won't have a heart attack because once you destroy heart muscle, it's gone forever. So does uh, that cholesterol concentration, does that affect things like blood pressure and all that too? Or is it doesn't affect blood pressure. Uh, but blood pressure is a risk factor for heart disease, just like smoking. Smoking is probably the worst mm -hmm. risk factor because it um, it squeezes the blood vessels tight, so you don't really get enough blood flow anywhere on your body. Uh, so diabetes and smoking do not mix for sure. So uh, the lipoproteins carry the cholesterol around. The good cholesterol, the HDL, uh, is the one that you want. You want more of that, mm -hmm. and you want less of the bad. So that's so, pretty obvious. <laughs> Does the HDL then, it says that carries fat to the liver for processing. Is that, is that actually, does that help you lose fat or lose weight when you have higher HDL? No. Mm -hmm. No, that's totally different. That's just, um, it's, it's like a courier service. You know, you've got the, the bad cholesterol, you know, delivering and the good cholesterol picking up and <laughs> taking back to the origin. Uh, because the liver makes most of the cholesterol in the body, um, it also processes the cholesterol. And it processes cholesterol from... Um, foods, if you're eating saturated fat, uh, that's absorbed, that makes the liver make more uh, cholesterol. So cholesterol on its own, if you just eat cholesterol, it doesn't make your cholesterol go up. So if you eat an egg, it doesn't make your cholesterol go up. Um, but if you eat, you know, red meat or <coughs> cheddar cheeses or whole milk, things mm -hmm. like that, that have high saturated fat, that tends to stimulate your liver's production of cholesterol. Uh -huh. And so that's the type of food that you try to avoid if you have a high cholesterol. And that, of course, fats in general have a lot of calories. It's calorie dense mm -hmm. uh, food. It's uh, nine calories per gram where carbohydrates are four calories per gram. So for, for the size of the fat, you get a lot more, more than twice as many calories 
So if you eat fat in general, that tends to make you gain weight. Now, if you eat good fat, which are plant fats like avocados and olives and, and olive oil and things like that, uh, it tends to help the cholesterol, lower it. Even though it's a fat, mm -hmm. it's not a saturated fat. It's a monounsaturated fat or polyunsaturated fat. So those are better um, as far as lowering the cholesterol. How does it lower the cholesterol? What it it just, it just, the liver likes it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> the liver. All right. It's sort of complicated. It's very complicated. <clears throat> this whole uh, lipid stuff, but in general, plant fats are good. Animal fats are bad as far as cholesterol. If you have a problem with cholesterol, most people have a problem with cholesterol because they've inherited it, you mm -hmm. know, from their family. And you can't really change your family, even though many of us would like to. Mm -hmm. um, that's unlikely that you'd be able to change your parents. So you have to go with it. Like, what is your cholesterol number? Uh, it doesn't really matter if you measure it fasting or non-fasting. It doesn't matter uh, as far as mm -hmm. the cholesterol goes. We'll talk about triglycerides later. Triglycerides tend to go up, you know, when you eat. So the fasting would be a lower level. But in cholesterol in general, if you measure it uh, in the blood, you can get some idea. If you have a risk factor for heart disease, uh, or if you've had mm -hmm. heart disease, if you have any kind of vascular disease, you want your cholesterol to be as low as possible. Um, yeah, so some diabetics people, need to be watching their cholesterol numbers. Yeah, too. they need to. There's lots of numbers for diabetes, mm -hmm. and uh, the cholesterol numbers need to be low for people with diabetes also. Hey, and welcome back to Sugar Talk with Dr. KJ and Lucas here on the talk station, FM 107 and AM 1240. We're talk about diabetes and its connection to, uh, and cholesterol's connection to diabetes. You have more schools uh, coming up too. Right? Yes, and that's one way of learning something about uh, cholesterol and risk factors for heart disease as well as diabetes. Uh, we have one coming up April 9th in Swansboro, the Swansboro Rotary Civic Center. Mm -hmm. We have one, uh, we're going on the road this year, uh, New Bern at the Doubletree, uh, Saturday, June 4th, and at the Aquarium in Pineville Shores on uh, Saturday, October 15th. Okay. And they're all on Saturday, 8.30 to 12.30. You go to beachdoctor.com and sign up there? To sign up, yes. Okay. You go there and you find out the dates and locations. So taking it on the road, that'll be an adventure. <laughs> that'll be different. Yeah. I'll have to be oriented to these places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that'll be good. Uh, so again, this is an opportunity for you to learn more about it so you can go there. Now, you mentioned about lowering uh, cholesterol or that avocados are... Is that generally, is it through diet that you can lower cholesterol without medication? Yeah, diet helps. It sort of depends on how high your cholesterol is. If it's mm -hmm. way high, you probably need uh, medicine. But in general, exercise, you know, lowers the bad and raises the good. <coughs> uh, low saturated fat diet, which means less animal fat. Uh, fish oil or krill oil can help some. Now, these are for people with mild, mildly elevated cholesterols. Losing abdominal fat, of course, helps the diabetes as well as the cholesterol. And, and losing weight in general mm -hmm. um, helps the cholesterol some. And controlling the blood sugar. The blood sugar makes the uh, cholesterol go high, the triglycerides go high. Uh, you have a high blood sugar. I think there was a, a period last uh, year, I think there was a week where, where statins were the, uh, were the bad medicine of the week. Uh, but, uh, but they generally are safe? Yes. Uh, and so. People fear them and for some reason, but um, and people do have side effects from them, but they actually prevent heart disease. Go find out more at, uh, at beachdoctor.com. Again, beachdoctor.com.